Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to Big Sam Golf. My name's Sam. Thank you again for tuning in. And today I'm bringing to you a custom build for one of the members here at Tankersley. He's bought a stealth three wood off us, regular shaft. However, he's a big lad, he's extra stiff, and he's brought in his Diamana limited edition whiteboard for us. Now, these are the Tiger Wood specials, so I can see this being a really cheeky build. Come on, guys, follow me into the workshop. This is going to be the project. I have one stealth 15 degree three wood and this lovely little Diamana extra stiff. I'll bang a couple of close ups down below now. So basically the first two stages that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the adapter off of the Diamana. I'm going to take the head off of the Ventus. Let's have a little look. First thing I'm going to do is strip down the Diamana shaft. So I have Mac industrial heat gun. Essentially all this is gonna do is break the bond between the old epoxy, allowing the adapter to come off. I'm using a shaft extractor, obviously it's graphite. I want it to pull away easy. I don't want the graphite to burn and get essentially lose its bond. So this will take anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds. I put pressure through the hold and the epoxy will just give way and not even that. What was that? 10 seconds? And it's literally come straight off. So all I'm going to do here is let it out of the vise. Give a little wipe. Take the old ferrule off. And all I'm left with then is essentially just a tip to wipe the old glue off. So all I'm gonna do now is chuck it in the grinder quickly, get rid of all this old epoxy and make it nice and sharp, give it a little bit of a rough edge for it to bond to the new, uh, new mix when it goes in the head. And as quick as that, all done all I'm going to do now is a very small drill bit just down the end of the shaft to essentially give a little bit of an airflow as the new epoxy goes up the shaft so I'm just drilling out the old epoxy from the previous mix straight through as you can see nice little hole between the graphite and it's ready for the new club I've now got my tailor made ready in the extractor Exactly the same thing as before when we were essentially just melting the epoxy. So it should take, again, anywhere between 15 and 20 seconds. Bit of pressure on through the head. And the heat's just going to melt the old epoxy. like that she's given way so all I'm gonna do now which you'll see in a second is I'm gonna let it cool down and then we drill the inside out get all the old epoxy and we'll prep it for the new shaft to go in so now I'm just gonna use the wire wool attachment this is just gonna get any debris out the inside of the head and allow the uh, epoxy to bond properly so you can actually see the amount of uh, amount of debris that's actually left in the head, and she's clean. All I'm doing now is just getting our Araldite mix ready to go. We use the Araldite Rapid. This normally takes around 15 to 20 minutes to dry. In my workshop again, just use good old screwdriver. You might get a spatula with the kit, but when you get used to doing it day in day out, it's uh, it's easy as you come. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed, starts to cure nicely. All I'm gonna do is fill the head with as much epoxy as I can fit in. Making sure that I don't get it everywhere because it's an absolute nightmare to get off. If you start dripping Araldite everywhere, 
the customer's not going to be your friend, you're not going to be your friend, and you're going to be uh, doing it over and over again. Uh, lovely. Let's let that settle a moment. Just going to make a little aeration hole. Good stuff. Now all I'm going to do now is just wipe the rest on the shaft. On the part that we've already made nice and rough so that it'll stick. I'm going to put a little bit extra just over the top, over the aeration hole. And then she's good to go. I'm going to twist it in just so the alignment's perfect. Make sure that that's nice and square. That's lovely. I'm going to ensure that the epoxy is spread just a touch down the shaft. And then all I'm going to do is push the ferrule up so it's nice and flush. I'm going to spray one of my towels with a little bit of white spirit just to wipe away any excess glue. And just like that, we'll put her into dry. So, she's all nice and dry, we're now just going to stick the grip on. Customers asked for a Z-cord align. If you've done it once or twice before, you're fine with a Stanley knife. If you're not, please use scissors at home. I'm not responsible for anyone that takes the finger ends off. So I've lined up with the top of the grip. All I'm going to do is slide it down the shaft. Nice and square. Simply rub my palms down the grip, get all the bubbles out. And always leave one fingernail long enough to be able to clip it off. And we are all good. So what I'm going to do now is grab some white spirit, finger over the end, white spirit covering the little bit of grip tape, back down so I can line it up and simply slide her on. When I can get the towel off the door. Wipe up all the excess white spirit. And then we're just going to line it up, tidy it up, and we'll show you the full result at the end. So guys, this is the finished product and the customer is going to be absolutely stoked. If any of you guys want anything like this, want me to put you any prices together for custom builds, drop me a message on the number at the end of the video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already subscribed, please give us a little subscribe in the bottom and we will be back on Wednesday with another series of Boot Room Talk. Thanks for watching guys.